everyone, it's Sharon from Sharon to See Travel and we are here in Vancouver, Canada and we are doing something we have never done before and that is Sail With. Holland, America. Holy cow, Sharon, we made it. We made it here to the cruise port in Vancouver. Was that an unbelievable ride in or what? That was. It was the cruise port here is so different. The terminal when you you drive in where they drop you off at. You go into like a it looks like a parking garage type setup and now they dropped us off and we're gonna go drop our bags off over here. There are two ships in port today, I guess the uh, Majestic Princess and then the Holland America Clemens Dom, um, which we're gonna get on. And I see that they're collecting it could be a little confusing because right here they're collecting for Princess yep. and just a few feet away here they're collecting bags for um, Holland America. Like Sharon said, it's a little bit chaotic, a little crazy. I'm starting to understand the things that people said about the Vancouver Cruise Board, but I think we're here. Connie's down, bag is down, right over our shoulder. Let's drop these bags, let's get inside and let's see what this process is all about. We've experienced in the last two months sailing from Seattle, Dover in the UK, and now here we are in Canada, okay. Vancouver. So let's get the party started. So we made it here into the cruise terminal. Now it looks like depending on where you get dropped off and how you get here, there are multiple places to drop your bags. Right over here, you got Majestic and Konigsdam baggage tags and uh, baggage drop-off right here in case you have different access to the port. But we're here. There's not too long of a line. Sharon, are you ready? I am ready. All right, well, that was quite a process. So we went in and we checked in. Uh, we showed our passports, got identified. Then we went in and checked in at the counter. Now we're going outside, and we have this neat little orange pass to head to security. So we're following the line for the Conning's Dam. As a matter of fact, speaking of the Conning's Dam, look what we just got our first look at. That's right, it is the Conning's Dam in all of her beauty. We're gonna follow the crowd and head to, I guess, security, uh, have our bags go through, and then, I don't know, go to a waiting room? I don't know. It's a little bit confusing, but there's a lot of people here pointing in the right direction. So it's very controlled chaos is probably the best way I can explain it for you. stateroom and looks like they're ready and boy what a kind of an organized chaos I guess you might call it getting on the ship the whole process but we'll go into that later um, but we are in cabin 8105 it's a Vista suite and let's go inside and take a look this is our first time on a Holland America ship let's go check it out wow I don't know where to start I'm just gonna tell you maybe a couple highlights that I noticed right when I walked in the door and then we'll give you a full cabin tour later but I did do notice that it is quite a bit larger than the balcony that we're used to there's a little sofa here wow oh the light vests are up here that's cool we have a little whole area here I know there's a mini fridge in here a safe plenty of storage Ooh, let's see what's inside here wow look at these Nice little blankets. There's towels down there. So at a first glance, I am loving this room. It's spacious. Um, it has so many amenities. I haven't even checked out the bathroom yet, so I can't wait to see that. But we'll give you a full ship tour, as I mentioned later. I'm a full cabin tour, that is. You'll get a ship tour too, though, I'm sure. This, <laughs> this is a pretty good sized balcony, and it has two nice chair chairs that recline. Wow, I'm gonna. We having me some mimosas on this balcony. 
And wow, what a view from here. We are on the starboard side and you have a view of everything going on here right at the port. And you can kind of just hang out here and people watch. There's so many different things going on down here. Um, you can see the whole port. And you can see the princess ship over there and there's people heading that way to get on the princess ship too. So quite a unique setup here in Vancouver. Well, that's right. We have made it to our room. Our stateroom is awesome. I am loving the setup of this Holland America room. Just the whole design, where everything is, the room, the shelving, multiple plugs and outlets. If you're carrying a lot of electronics, you will love, love, love this room as well. And one thing I'm also loving, and I miss them terribly, but it's just Sharon and myself this time. You've noticed that, right? It's just the two of us. The kids aren't here. Matthew, Callie, any of the family members, we left them home for this trip. It's just the two of us on the special retreat that Sharon was invited to. And um, and I think that's pretty cool. We don't do that often, but we're going to make the best of it. So we're getting ready to go see if we can't find a little food now, fill up our bellies. It's been a long, long morning. We've walked a mile and a half through this whole port deal, and we need to get rejuvenated, re-energized, and we need to get fired up and ready for the rest of the day. So uh, we're going to do that. Let's head to get some food. We're thinking maybe the pizza deli situation. I'm not really sure. Sharon's leading the way. I'm just following. She's the boss. You know that. And uh, let's, let's eat. But here's something funny. So we open up this spot here and uh yeah we've got a fridge right and i love that it's like mid-level you don't have to bend over to see what's in it and all that and we open it and my first reaction is uh oh looks like the last people left us some drinks let's see what we got some red bull some cocktails um cokes some wine there's a beer in there and i'm thinking whoa sharon that's a jackpot we got somebody's leftovers so sharon looks at me and goes uh hey dummy those aren't leftovers those are drinks in the fridge we're on a nicer cruise line those are in the mini fridge they will cost you an arm and a leg and chances are they are not i repeat not part of the drink package that we have so she said do not touch them do not touch them so hands off of the stuff in the mini fridge that's a warning to you if you haven't been on holland america before don't drink what's in the mini fridge it's not left over so our first stop of the day for food we made the very difficult decision the new york deli and pizza location they've actually got a menu they'll make your pizzas to order look at this action here they're making up caesar salads right here oh my gosh that looks fabulous, Sharon. That looks fabulous. So the first place we stopped at here to get our food is the upper level of the Lido deck. Look at the covered area. It's beautiful here. I mean, it is gorgeous, but it is hot. It is super hot, humid right here. So we found a little table off to the side. We'll show you that in a minute. But so far, everything about this cruise has been impressing the heck out of us. And right now I'm gonna go down to the bar to get us a drink. We're waiting on our pieces to get made. We're gonna eat our Caesar salads. Whew, we're gonna be ready for a great day. All right, and it wasn't hard to find a bar. Bada bing, bada bang, right here. I love it. All right, so I grabbed Sharon's card so I can get her a drink as well. We've got a cold beer coming up. We've got a margarita getting mixed for the lady. And uh, so far, beautiful. All right, so here's a quick look at the Caesar salad, a closer look. It's got the anchovy right on there. It's unbelievable. You can get it with or without. Of course I went with Sharon without and here comes Sharon with our pizzas oh look at these oh boy look at that that looks unbelievable she got a little personal pepperoni right there we get a pizza review from her in a minute look at mine this is called the Bronx it looks fabulous well Sharon we've settled in you've had a sip of your margarita like you're doing right now you have a smile on your face you got a Caesar salad a pizza what are your initial thoughts uh, well the Caesar salad is one of the best I've ever had. The dressing is just really tasty. It has a lot of flavor. It's very good. Margarita, I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's a very good margarita. It takes wow. a lot to get a 10 for me. So wow. that's a 9.5 is really good. And I haven't tried the pizza yet, but I'll let you know as soon as I try it. I have a pepperoni pizza. And I know I have the best view in the place because I get to look right across the table at my beautiful bride, but how about this view? It is gorgeous out there. And the water, the mountains in the distance. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen watching the vlog, I know you've become accustomed to seeing pizza reviews mostly given by Matthew, or almost always given by Matthew, but Matthew's not here this cruise, but we've got a special guest star ready to give you her own 
pizza review from here at the New York Pizza and Deli on the Holland America Connings Dam. Are you ready? Who do you think it is? All right, I'm gonna give you my official um, honest pizza review. There's a little piece left. Um, that's what it looks like. It is very good. I'm gonna say that it is very good. But um, if I have to kind of compare it to something what a lot of people are accustomed to, maybe Carnival Cruise Line pizza, I'm gonna say Carnival Cruise Line pizza is better. It has a thinner crust and a little crunchier. This is really good though. It does have a thicker crust and the inside part is a little softer here. Um, but the cheese is good. The pepperonis are good. Um, it is good, but it's just kind of like a thicker, softer crust. Um, and uh, I prefer like the thinner crust. So that's just my honest opinion. But I will, I'm going to give this a seven and a half out of 10. I'm going to give it a seven and a half out of 10, I think. Um, but there you go my pizza review well there you go guys you heard it here for 7.5 on a scale of 1 to 10 from your very own Sharon from Sharon Sea Travel that's what she gave it she says it's very good it's not quite number one uh, really quick I want to let you guys know that Sharon just said the words that are music to my ears Sharon what'd you just say to me I said my margarita's gone and I think I need to go get uh, another one I mean this this margarita was really good and it just went down like water. So that doesn't happen very often on, on a cruise. So. We're gonna have a party. We're gonna have a party. Sharon on number two margarita. Let's go. Holland America. I got a little video of it from inside while we're eating, but this is a much, much better view. Look at the awesome area here. Vancouver, we are impressed with you as well. Not only are we impressed with the ship, but we are impressed with you. I love all the planes right there getting ready to take off and land. Here's one right here getting ready to take off. I feel like I'm back in Alaska. All right, so here we are at the bar. Um, it's right up on deck 12, across from the deli where we were. Opened up at two. We got Pete here mixing up a few drinks. Sharon's having another strawberry margarita. And he's making up a little old fashioned for your friend Jimmy. Perfect, beautiful. All right, how cool is this? I know we have barely, I mean, we really haven't even ventured out past the Lido area that we've been in here, but right here is so cool. They have these amazing loungers, which Sharon's enjoying. Look, oh, look at her love and life right there. Let me give you a better look at it. But he's got these full loungers here with tables. Those look fantastic. They've got these nice, it's almost like cabana style areas, you know, you don't have to pay extra for this, don't get me wrong, but it just has a little privacy to it. And you can just get a seat right here. And look right out here at the ocean while you're cruising. Or you could look right out here at, I don't know, the port, if you wanted to. This spot is fantastic. People are chilling out down here by the pool. The hot tubs are there if you want them. Can't believe no one's in them right now. So the bar we were just at was the Panorama Bar, located right across from the, uh, the deli. Down there, they've got another bar, and uh, the burger place is down on deck nine, and of course the Lido area, the buffet was down there. So, I don't know, I'm just giving you a glimpse of this super, super cool area. They even opened up the top to let a little bit of that hot air out and get some cool air in. Just sitting here enjoying a drink uh, on our loungers and thinking, what a difference uh, a cruise line makes. Now, we've been on, you know, Carnival, Royal, NCL. I would dare say any one of those cruise lines uh, if you're on one of those, every one of these seats, these chairs next to the pool, would be filled at this time of the afternoon. But here on Holland, there's one lady out there. Every one of these loungers is empty. Same thing going over here. There's only two folks down there. There's even these huge loungers up top are, uh, are empty. No one is out here. Again, no one's in the hot tub. I mean, this is just crazy how, how empty the Lido area is. And right now we're getting ready to go hit the mustard drill. Uh, we have to go down to station D3 and check that out. Hopefully it's as easy as um, as the other you and know so cruise ships we'll, musters we'll are. Go check in at the muster station, and then we have to go back to our cabin and watch a video on the TV. That's important. You got to complete the video, and then it's like a two-step verification type of deal, and then we'll be good to go with our muster, and then we'll see what happens after that. I think maybe we'll walk around a little bit. We're still got to get the feel of the ship. 
I said earlier, we've really only been in this general area. We got on, did some stuff in our cabin, came up here, ate, found a bar for a drink, and now we've just been relaxing. Now, I am impressed with the straw quality that Holland uses. Really? Straws are a big deal these days. Well, it's a hot, controversial you know, topic in cruising. Okay, Carnival gives the candy straws. And other cruise lines give paper straws, but they're, the paper is so thin that you barely start drinking your drink and it's all soggy. Yes. Uh, now, at first I thought these were plastic. I was like, wow, they have plastic straws, but they are. I, they are paper, but they're so thick and, and the quality is so good that I have, like, it's been sitting in my drink and it's not even squished at all. It's that like, straw is yet to go is. limp, I think is what Sharon's telling you. No limp High straws. High quality straws on Holland. Wow, so there's another thumbs up for Holland America. Quality straws for Sharon's they margarita. Got it going on with straws. <laughs> Sharon, how challenging was that mustard drill? Are you are you okay? Are you worn down from it? Uh, oh, it was a lot of work. Anyways, yeah, all we had to do basically, just like some of the cruise lines, you just take your card, you show them, they scan it, you're good to go. You do still have to watch the video in your stateroom when you get back. So we're gonna go ahead back there now, watch the video because it does say that you have to watch the video and check in both between, I think it was 1.45 and 3.45 before we sail away. So we're gonna go back to the cabin, check to see if our luggage is there. While we're unpacking our luggage, um, we'll play the video on the TV screen, kind of listen to it. And Killing to two go. birds with one stone. You're that's a genius. Right. Multitask, multitask. All right, <laughs> fantastic. So that's it. And then we're going to try to check out a little bit of the ship and, uh, and then we'll see what's for dinner. Collect your life jacket, comfortable flat-heeled shoes, warm clothing, including a head covering, any medications and your personal identification documents. Then proceed to your muster station as you did earlier this afternoon. That's right, we must have just got bring our muster drill done right in the nick of time because as soon as we walked back into the cabin, boom, the captain came on the overhead and started giving us uh, the drill, giving us the lowdown. So uh, thank you, captain, for that. And uh, muster drill complete, super easy. Now we're on to the rest of the day. When this captain says it's time to go, it is time to go. He doesn't mess around. He came on and said, uh, everyone's on board. We're going to break away and uh, from the berth and set sail. We're supposed to leave at 4. Uh, it's 3.15 and look at this. We got another update for you. Uh, your friend Jamie back with you here. I am at the Panorama Bar on deck 10 here on uh, on Holland America's con exam. Sharon getting ready for dinner. All right, I came out. I'm just having a little cocktail here, a little Moscow Mule. Mm. For those of you that enjoy that, and um, that's the deal. So we're getting ready to go to dinner. I think we're doing the buffet. I think we're going to keep it simple tonight. Um, let's. Exhaustion has set in. We've been going 100 miles an hour ever since we got back from the uh, Carnival Pride cruise, you know, the whole wackiness of that. And this is the first minute we've had to relax and just shut it down. So I napped earlier, I'm not gonna lie. I took a little 30 minute nap. Sharon crushed a nap. And now she's getting ready. I'm having a cocktail and I'm gonna meet her here in a few and we're going to dinner. Well, the day kind of got away from us. It is already like 7.30 at night, I think. I don't know. We we got all settled in the cabin. All all our things are put away, and I took a little nap. I never do that on embarkation day, never. And I don't know. I was just tired. Took a little nap, and next thing you know, it's past our normal dinner time. So we're gonna go to the buffet. Um, I just don't feel like getting changed and everything to go to the main dining room tonight. So we're gonna hit up the buffet and check it out. It'll probably be the only time we get a chance chance to do that this week. So. Hey, why not make it tonight and we'll let you know how it is. I've heard they have some pretty good food in the buffet. So, uh, quick check in with you guys. We are on uh, deck three. We just came outside to the outer area to see what's going on out here. Look at this. It's like leaving Vancouver is like leaving New Orleans, right? In New Orleans, you have like a six hour trip down the Mississippi, except the difference is here in Vancouver, the views are beautiful and the water's clean. 
and you can't see this, but behind me, Sharon is shaking her head yes. It's gorgeous here. All right, Vancouver, we're digging you. We're, we hear you, we hear you. Oh, hi, let's say hi to the, uh, to the buffet here. Look at this. I got a, a little bit of white rice. I got some Indian food underneath and then a huge piece of prime rib. They're like, this is the last one. I said, I'll take it. Unbelievable, look at that. Sharon's got a salad right here. Healthy Sharon. A little cheesecake, non-healthy Sharon. And we'll see what she has coming up here in a minute. All right, so Sharon went out and got a little more food to go with her salad and her dessert. Sharon, how are you doing there? Great. Um, it was steak night in the buffet, so I got a strip steak. I'm gonna check that out. A baked potato, a little fruit. Oh, and look at this cute little shot of strawberries. I thought that was kind of cute and interesting. So, anyways, um, see how this is. The steak actually looks pretty good for being in the buffet. Well, we crushed the buffet, and as usual, Sharon's eating her meal after her dessert. Well, we give a shot here at the casino, and uh, we did not win. Just a little update for you. You know we can't record in the casino, but the shops are open. Sharon, of course, is browsing the shops as we wind up our night. Well, we are having a great time so far. Um, we've been wandering around the ship, just kind of hanging out after dinner, checking things out. We went by BB King's, um, and the music was pretty good there. I cannot wait to go back and check it out. Later this week, there was people dancing and all kinds of things already tonight. Um, so then we wandered around the shops a little bit. I had to get this because promised Matthew I'd bring him a ship and they had ships so I got it and I will say that um, they had a lot of logo stuff on the ship in here so I kind of glanced around for a while uh, so I know a lot of the ships they just seem to not have that as, as much logo stuff anymore I don't know why but there was plenty of things to buy here but I just stuck with the ship <laughs> we're gonna shut it down for the night here with the vlog thanks for watching guys and if you're new to the channel and just kind of stumbled across this looking for Holland America tips please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll get notified when we post new content because we're gonna be here for seven days and we're gonna have a lot of fun Holland America content coming out and Alaska too so thanks for watching good night everyone